Guitar Stuff with John. Welcome to Guitar Stuff with John. We're here doing episode two with my buddy Dakota McNamara. And uh, if you saw the last one, you'll see that we were talking about his brilliant new armrest design. He calls the ARC Acoustic Resonance Comfort System. And uh, we wanted to put one on this guitar. So I'm playing this. I just strung it up. It's got brand new strings. And this is... <laughs> Really impressive sounding guitar. This is the inspired by Gibson Epiphone uh, J200. And I love this guitar for the simple reason it doesn't have all the mud of an act of a real J200. It's got that big bottom, but it's not like fluffy. And the sustain yeah. is incredible, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to sit right here and install the armrest on this guitar and then play the guitar for you again. So let's get right to it. And we're back in. And here you see, this is the beast right there. So I got this to kind of match with the, uh, with the bridge and the fingerboard a little bit. Uh, so the wood is pretty, uh, pretty close. It's kind of hard to get exactly without having the exact same wood that... Uh, that the guitar was built with but uh, one thing you may notice is that we left the tape on uh, as we had suggested uh, in the first episode and we did that so that we could get a pretty good estimate of where the armrest is going to sit now this one here I built a little bit bigger and most of them tend to be a little bit uh, bigger so we're just going to find where it sits and it's it kind of seats itself anyway. Yes, and that's that's the interesting thing about this because this thing, this is what what sets this apart from every other armrest. Yeah, because it's built to the exact angle of the guitar that's given to him by the guitar owner. This thing can't go anywhere wrong. No, it'll no. only fit one way. It's only going to sit yeah. in that arc perfectly flush. In one place, yep. and it is right now. I can see it right now. It's yep. flawless. It just, just sits, just just sitting there like. And this is just based the guitar, on right? the the drawing that we did. So yeah, now I've uh, the I've, tracing. I've made a few um, that have been shipped out already, and I know some people are waiting for this video to uh, to install theirs. So this is this is basically what all you do. If you have to move your tape a little bit, let's get in there close. That's okay. So Take I it. all I do is I just run my finger along the edge, make sure that. Everything is sitting properly, and this is. And then I'll just set that. And having the tape there is important for this part, and I'll show you exactly why that is now, because we've got, this is our tape. This is the underside of the arc, and it's all hollowed out in underneath uh, to remove weight, uh, but also to keep it off of the face of the guitar. So this is the width of the tape that's going to be on the edge of the guitar. So it's not it's not taking up much more room than the than the actual purfling. than the actual binding and purfling yeah. is. Yeah. So we're gonna take off this little red strip here. And there's the adhesive. And there's the adhesive itself. So did we clean this off good? It doesn't really need a whole heck of a lot of cleaning. This was pretty clean to begin yeah. with. Here's how we install it. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna rock it forward just a little bit. We're gonna find our corners. Here, find one corner, find the other corner, and make sure that we're lined up on those on those corners. And you can see the adhesive starts sticking almost immediately. So we're gonna line up that one corner, and then the other corner should be lined up. And we keep it rocked forward a little bit. And then once we're in position, just double check. It will start to bond right away, but you can. Uh, take it up if you find that it's a little bit off. This one's sitting perfectly here. So we're just going to put a little bit of weight on there. And now we can take our take our other tape off of there. And I wish I should I should say as well when you're pressing down on this, be careful not to press here. Because that, that yeah. could lift it. You want to press on the heaviest part of it at the back yeah. where the adhesive is underneath. Well this tape here is gonna is gonna stick almost immediately anyway. Yeah. So 
at this point here, this is set. This yes. is ready to go. And if we look... Wow, it looks fantastic. It's, it's only as tall as the bridge and the bridge pins are. So there's no extra height. There's, there's a little bit of extra height that you may feel, especially on a bigger guitar. But the, the angle that I make these on and whatnot makes it feel like there's, there's nothing else. And, and, and it's, if you look, my arm is now at string height. So my arm running straight along the edge of the guitar is now at string height rather than angling and you, up. And you also don't have the edge of the guitar. And you don't have the edge, of, exactly. So, Which is really going to show itself on me. The edge of the guitar does cut into me a lot if I play too long. So there we go. I'm just looking down through the, ch the channel here, and it's, it's just, it's beautiful. It's amazing. And this will it not, really, it won't move. It really, it really matches the, uh, the rest of the appointments. It's almost the same color entirely as a fingerboard. Good job, buddy. Dandy. So the moment of truth is when you hear what it sounds like. So now, so if you look, your I'm arm looking, is entirely yeah, off. My the top arm of the is guitar. not touching the top of the guitar at all now. It's, kind of hard to see what that it's pretty crazy because before I was looking at my arm, and I can yeah. see there's that much space now. It's hard to shoot this. It's weird to shoot it, but this is there's there's I, my arm is Maybe not we'll touching the top at all. Can I notice a difference nothing, already? Yeah. Especially in the middle. Yeah. And it's really comfortable. And it'll, it'll ring. We should have let it ring before. It's it's got all that rich tone. Wow. And it's, it's ringing forever. It's different. It definitely is different than it was. And this is a brand new guitar. It's surprising that there's that much difference from, you know, three or four square inches of flesh touching the top and then not touching the top. And it's so comfortable. You don't even feel it. Yeah, and you won't. It just feels smooth and round in there. Something. She'll just ring and ring and ring. Like you can kill it with your hand yeah. now, right? It's 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 crazy. Yeah. You hear how much of the top end comes off of it now? <laughs> well, the, the guitar is able to resonate now. The way the way it's really it's crazy, yeah. yeah. But there's nothing touching it back there, so so it's easy to see why people use short, uh, armrests. But I've never seen one like this because the other ones are not made to the actual curvature of the guitar. Yeah. They're not this light. Like there's no material in this really. Yeah. It's so thin and so precisely made that. And this is not only made to the guitar, it's made to you. Yeah. It's made to the player. Yeah. It's sitting, and if you'll notice, my arm is dead center of it. Yeah. Because of the measurements you took and, and you would take if you were, were creating your own template for him to build you one. So now, do you notice? Does it feel like the guitar is any bigger? No. It's, yeah. Not it's, at all. As a matter of fact, it feels better because I don't have this cutting into my arm anymore. And that's the. Uh, it's just. It's just. It's like there's a. I don't know. It just feels. I've I had can't a lot of feel people asking there me that yeah. about uh, like for bigger guitars, and I I tell them the same story about like when I when I had bought my Stonebridge a while yeah. back, and I had my first armrest put on it, and and it and I had it curved like this yeah so that so that it, it added that extra comfort yeah. and it's it actually instead of feeling like the guitar is bigger it makes it feels like it's, it's like smaller, smaller because it's it's more comfortable yeah. to play yeah it's crazy i'm uh and this is the very first one of these i've ever used i've never wanted anything like this on my guitar because i felt it it it, it detracted from the sound yeah which it probably does, mm -hmm. because a lot of these other ones have huge, wide strips of adhesive. Yeah. And the way that you've done it is, 
like th this area of the guitar at the edge, there's nothing happening there. All inside the guitar is the meeting of the back uh, of the sides and top and, and, the, and the curfing, the curfing the around the inside, right? So this is a very solid piece of the guitar, this quarter inch here. So nothing's really happening. And that's where your adhesive yeah. is sitting. Like that's brilliant. So that so that yeah. negates any problems with, you know, muting part of the top or, or. Well, they say everything that you add to the guitar takes from the sound. That's right. It's true. What this actually does, is it takes your arm out of that equation. Yeah. So you're not you're not adding something. You've to your removed guitar. You've all removed that flesh. More material yeah. You've than removed all that flesh yeah. from the top, right? I really do hear a difference in it. Especially the top end. Yeah. That's really weird. Eh? It's, it's got its natural ringing to it. It really counts when you go up here. Yeah. Because normally I'd be killing that yeah. part of the, but I'm not touching it at all up there. I can feel how how much louder. It yeah, is. like it's it's it's, it's really it's here. shaking my rib yeah. cage now. Yeah. So that's awesome. So that's on a guitar. You know, that's a thousand dollar, thirteen hundred dollar guitar, yeah. and it is all solid, yeah. all solid maple and uh, Sitka. Yeah. And brand new, and now I, I really feel like this is going to be something I'm going to want to play a lot more. I, I loved it before, but this just turned it from being almost quiet to right in your yeah. grill. Right, so that's and I like that. Yeah, that's that's now a session killer. <laughs> it's amazing yeah. what happens when you touch that. Yeah, now you can you can hear you it. You can hear it as every die, time you touch it, right? Yeah. yeah. That's beautiful. And that, and you notice, like, when you're playing, at the end of when you're playing, you, you bring your arm up. Yeah. And, and a lot of musicians because do that. Because they want the guitar to swell. Because they want the guitar to swell and they want it to last longer. Now you don't have to. There's no change in no. the volume or tone of the guitar when no. you do that. I, you're still getting the same I'm, thing. I just noticed that just now. Yeah. Because everybody does. Like even, yeah. even banjo players take their fingers off the hib and they want to really Right, because they want to make it ring long, longer and stuff. Now your guitar can do that naturally All the whether time. you do that or not. Yeah. yeah. It certainly adds... I would, I would honestly say I think that this... It, because this is, this is a factory-made guitar, right? And it's got a unique sound to begin with. It's, and it's going to take a while to age out the stuff. It's not like a handmade instrument. I, I I can dare say that that just added 15% to this guitar, at least. And if this was a handmade instrument, it might have added 30. You know what I mean? Because the top on a handmade yeah. is so oh, much yeah. more sensitive and so yeah. more well-voiced. My, my boucher came to, like, I mean, how, how many times have we had conversations about my boucher? And, yeah. And, yeah. and I remember I remember it before it had that. Yeah. And it was incredible. It Yeah. But after you put that on, it was even more incredible because it was the whole top thing. Because they're right? made to, they're made to sing. Yeah. And and when your arm is off the guitar, yeah, it allows it to do that. And this is just the, I've never seen it facilitated that good before, that well. So anyhow, what what can you what else do we need to tell the folks? Because I I think that just seeing that for myself in my own, on my own instrument, I could recommend these to anyone who it's just it's just it's yeah. a no brainer. Right, and I know a lot. It really of, is. Uh, like I know Valdi uses one oh, yeah. on his guitar, and I, I know uh, some guys like Buddy McDonald. Stephen Fearing uses yeah. one, and a lot of people use them, but they're always the store they don't bought. Fit. No, they don't fit. They don't fit, and don't not fit only like that, that, they don't they don't have the curvature. Yeah, uh, they're made to imitate the top of the guitar. Right. So they're ju they're just on that flat plane. Yeah. So they keep your arm off the top, but they're they're usually they a have lot their, wider and they and, have their own edge. And they have their own edge. Yeah, it sucks. This it's, has this has none. It's just it just rolls yeah. right off of there like the side of a biscuit. Yeah. Matter of fact, I'm getting hungry just <laughs> oh. 
So, and then I've had people asking me about the adhesive, whether or not, yeah. you know, if, if, if they're putting it on and they put it on in the wrong spot and they want to take it off and move it. This, this comes right um, off with that little bit of a hair dryer. And this, it's yeah, off. hair dryer. It's the same. It's the your same, pick guard will come off yeah, the same way. Easily, without damaging the top of the guitar. It's not, it's not glue. No, it's 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 an adhesive that's meant to be able to be removed if yeah. if need be, and you can go to any Canadian Tire and pick up this, and this is this is what I use. It's just a 3M automotive uh, grade tape. Yeah. Uh, it's a quarter inch wide, and this this product here is is all I use, and it's it's strong enough that it will not move, especially once once you get going and you start warming yep. up and stuff like that. Yep. It doesn't slide. I've had mine on my guitar for, how long have I had that on? Five years, couple, five, yeah. five years, four years at and, least. Uh, and it has not moved. With no. the, and I've tried a number of different adhesives and this is this is the one to go with. Well, and it's, it's three, completely removable. It's a 3M product and I should yep. mention that something that maybe people don't realize is that almost every single pick guard in the world yep. is adhered with 3M. Yeah. That's the that's what they use. It comes in a sheet like a piece of paper, and you cut it right under here is is a three M uh, adhesive sheet for this pick guard, right? And you cut it in the shape and you put it down as double side or yep. sort of a double side ordeal, right? Yeah. You put it you, you put that on first and you t tear the piece off. Yep. And it becomes this tiny film of yep. adhesive and you stick the pick guard on there and boom, right? But just like so, a pick guard, this is not intended to be removed from the guitar because it should never have to be. No. But it can be. But it can very be. Very easily. If you, really if you decide to. you don't like it, it'll yep. come off in a heartbeat. Yep. Little hair dryer, and pull it right off there and use go. some acetone or something to just... Because yep. that's another thing. Where it's fastened can't really damage that. That, yep. that purfling is tough as hell, right? Yeah. And the trim, that's not gonna, you're not going to damage that at all. Most of so. them are plastics. Yeah. And, uh, and, and you get some that are wood. Yeah. Uh, but uh, this will actually help... Uh, protect that corner of the guitar as well. Certainly will. All right, so there you go, boys and girls. Dakota McNamara, the ARC Acoustic Resonance Comfort Armrest System, custom-made armrest system. And uh, on the little break there, and we're having a chat as we normally do. <laughs> we've been chatting a long oh, number of years. Do, we, we've done a few of those. Yes. Yeah, I made an interesting observation yeah. that Dakota wasn't aware of. I remember when wooden armrests came out about 30 years ago, and the reason that everybody, you know, assumed and and was doing it yep. was not had nothing to do with acoustics. It had to do with they wanted to protect the finish of the guitar there from from getting that black stain from your sweat. Now, mind you, it's a bit foolish because it would take about 30 years to do that. And that would be even with someone like me who has yeah. a super high pH in my sweat. I eat strings just to nothing. Yeah. But that's really why they did it. And, this, and, the, and that's probably why they were so big and bulky and gross. And they were really to protect the finish there yeah. and keep the sweat dripping away from the guitar now we have this that does that as and and increases the resonance of the guitar yeah. right so you kind of knock this out of the park buddy like this is a really cool this is a very cool product so tell us about uh first of all tell us about ordering so i have a new website that just launched last week right and uh it's my dash arc dot ca my dash arc a r c dot ca Cool. So that website there has all kinds of different frequently asked questions, and it's got pictures of a bunch of different arcs that I've made in the past. Uh, it's got the first video that we did, and you'll also see a, uh, a section for how to order, what pricing is like, and, mm -hmm. and things like that. So basically, when it comes to ordering, uh, the best thing you can do is watch the first video for how to do the template. Once you have that template made up, you can contact me directly through the website um, and you can send the uh, template to me uh, through email and I'll get you in the queue for making your arc. And uh, the way that it's working right now is they're, they're being sold for an introductory price of $65 each. Wow. Plus shipping. Using 
a bubble wrap envelope yep. and a piece of hardboard. So this is a piece nice. that I, I used. You can see that I cut out a shape uh, from that prior. So I cut out the shape of the arc and then put that underneath and that solidifies it so that the packaging doesn't bend, bend and and break the arc. Right. Because uh, when you're dealing with something like ebony and stuff like that, it's, it's brittle. It's, it's brittle. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's strong, but it's brittle. So... Uh, I'll use those to to package it, and then on top of that, in your package, you will get the actual uh, template that I printed off and used to ensure that your arc was yeah. the right size. Yeah. Uh, that way, you get to see exactly what I used, and there's there's no guesswork. Uh, and you see, the it. install was really easy. Just use your tape markers, and just yeah. make sure you you have it. You, sli you slide it this way and that until it's perfect, because there's yeah. only one place it's always fit. dry fit it. Always dry fit it first. Yeah. Find your corners, keep it tilted up. When you get the corners down, lay her down gently and make sure she's flush. Yeah. I mean, Dakota did this one right in his lap and it's perfect. Yeah. And if you so, if you lay it down really lightly, if there is a mistake, you can pull it back up. Just yeah. take your time pulling it back up because yeah. the adhesive starts to, to grip right away. But you can pull it back up right away. And then once you put some pressure on it, it's on there. Um, yeah. But you can remove it, like we said, with heat. And we've also decided on the break that yeah. he's going to be building me one of these for my Boucher signer, J.P. Cormier signature model. Yeah. He actually had an ebony, ebony one here he thought might fit. Where is that one? That's over here. I'll show you the... Let, let's, uh, okay, just, like. just for fun. Now we're going to have fun now. Put, pass me Yogi. This is possibly one of the best sounding guitars that I've ever owned and owned ever. Just uh, This guitar is ridiculous. This is the reason that I chose this body style for my signature model. I call her Yogi. She's it's got, so, it's she got yells like a bear. Yeah, it's got so much sound already. Okay, let's, just for fun, let's see if it fits. So, if we run this in along the side here, so that oh one. Oh my god, it does fit. That one fits like a glove. Wow. Okay, let's so put her on. on. You want to put her on? Let's put her on. Right, leave the, leave this. the camera roll. We're doing this in live, real time here. I've got my roll of tape here. Little pair of scissors. I will play some yeah. before and after music. sounds like with my big old arm over like a massive part of the body in this guitar it's very small so I'm covering up like a friggin size of a t-bone steak back there all right now let, let I don't recommend it. doing this without the tape but I've done this a few times so we're gonna uh, find oh. exactly the spot there's the spot so Wait, normally what I would do like a glove so normally what I would do is I'd put my masking tape on each edge here so maybe what I'll do is I will, do we have anything that we can? How about this? That'll do. That's perfect. All right, so JP's gonna hold that steady there. I'm just marking the spot here for him with my trusty Apollo pick. Ooh. Thank you, Nick Monin. Shiny. Custom ebony arc going on Yogi. So. That's her. There you go. We got her. Look at that. Ooh. Wow. And that's, it looks really good, That matches good too. The, the bridge and It matches and everything, yeah. Fingerboard as well. That's incredible. There. Give that one a go. Wow. Jesus, that's gorgeous. That's beautiful. Oh, man. That's crazy. <laughs> oh! Get out of town! <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> 
Holy. It sounds completely it different. Did, yeah. And it had... It was already incredible. Yeah. Now it's like... There's just something else there altogether. Yeah, it's like it dropped an entire... Wow. It's, that's insane. That's insanity right there. Holy Christ. That's ridiculous. That that added 20% to this guitar. Especially the bottom end. That's incredible. That just, you, I just had my mind blown live right there. I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting that much difference. Listen to it almost sounds like a dread. I know. Listen to, <laughs> listen to the pop, the bottom end pop. Hear the body pop in there? Yeah. Oh, breath on it? Oh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> that's absolutely ridiculous. Wow. Wait till we put one on more <laughs> Yeah. It's it's just at the it's just at the edge. Yeah. You, how did you do that? <laughs> how did you figure that where that was that works out great. Well, there you go, boys. I just got another one on my own, one of my favorite guitars of all time, Yogi, my my Triple O Studio Goose. This is the Triple O 12 fret uh, East Indian Rosewood. Wow. That's low end. It yeah. really, really made a difference. It's slightly louder. It's got more color. Yeah. I can't get over that. God. It's like a grand piano now. It was before. Now it's even worse. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, well, nobody will want to play with me in the room with that anymore. <laughs> so there you go. Well, what else can we say? You can't, yeah. Holy crap. And that's that's without even going into the comfort stuff. Like that's just yeah. We're, we're, we're and, just and, talking and, tone on that and one. And it's weird too, because now because this guitar is so small, yeah. it works the same way. It yeah. puts a little more beef on the edge for me, yeah. so that my arm is out more where I'm yeah. used to her for a dreadnought. So it makes me feel like I'm playing a bigger guitar somehow. Yeah, it's really weird. It, it makes the big guitar feel small and the little one feel big. Because you get no pressure on this one, and this one you just get that nice little extra. Your arm is is in a better playing position too, I think. Because I always tell I try people, to angle it towards the bridge. Yeah, I always tell people never to put their hands down on the bridge like this and play like that. You got to keep your hand up off the guitar, and like this does that for. It's almost a corrective tool for yeah. proper right hand technique. Right, it makes you get your wrist bent, so you're attacking the strings the right way. Right. I just can't get over that. It's just holy crap. That's well, anyhow. Yep. I, I, I'm, we uh, I'm blown away. I just get my face melted on my own show. Anyhow, I expected nothing less from my friend Dakota McNamara. So, my dash arc dot ca. That's it. A R C. Yep. Send me a message if you're curious. Uh, I'll respond as quickly as I can and. I've got a few orders that I'm working on currently, and uh, yeah, I've got a lot of people that were looking forward to this video. So I'm Yeah, well, you can't get any easier than this. He's pretty well aced this system. I've never heard of anybody doing it this way, and obviously it works. Uh, I mean, geez, it's simple as pie. Uh, you watch both these videos, and you it's yep. done. You're, you're done. You'll have it in your mailbox, and, and you make them quickly. I make them pretty quick. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can do uh, one a day or two I've a got day. A, I've got a yeah. I've got a few things that I've been. I mean, a lot of the administrative stuff, trying to get the website going and stuff, yeah. took up some time uh, the last little bit. But yeah, I can, I can pump them out pretty quick once I once I get going on them. And the finish, I, I don't know if I, I know we've looked at one of them closely, but the finish on this is like violin quality. It's just beautiful. And there's nothing on it. It's no. just that's the natural like, wood. I know, the only one the, I put anything the, on is like a, maple. I know. But the, 
like just the feel of it. Yeah. It feels like a piano. Hand it's polished. Hand polished. Beautifully done. Anyhow, let's pick something. Okay. On the way out. We appreciate you being here with us in Guitar Stuff with John and my good buddy for many, many years. I'm so proud to see you do this. This is exciting. This, uh, you know, it's not only is me. not only is he a gigging mu musician, he's he's back in school getting his BSC. He's doing this. He's doing. You're a mighty man, boy. I'm a little bit busy. Yeah, I see. <laughs> but there's never there's never uh, there's always time for picking. Oh, for sure. <laughs> 